Well, we have certainly had a lot of Fantastic Four news these past few months, but the Fantastic Four official cast has been locked in. Marvel Studios has the official Fantastic Four cast for the film, and I specifically say that because right now the reports just state that we have the team, the family, the Fantastic Four. Meaning, as far as we know right now, the only members of the film that have been cast are Mr. Fantastic, the Invisible Woman, the Thing, and the Human Torch. Galactus is reportedly going to be the villain of this film. No news on official casting for him yet. And the Silver Surfer is supposed to be the Herald of Galactus, with reports stating that this is going to be a female version of the Silver Surfer. But of course, everybody's biggest question is, when is Marvel themselves going to officially officially announced the cast. Well, according to a recent report, less than two weeks. So let's break down everything you need to know in this video, plus talk about that Deadpool 3 trailer. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos about the MCU. And we're doing a big giveaway, giving away a PS5 and Xbox Series X. More about that at the end of the video. So this report is coming from John Campia. John Campia has been in the industry for a very long time. He knows a lot of people. He's broken scoops before, and of course, a lot of people remember that he accidentally posted a very real leaked picture of the three Spider-Men from Spider-Man No Way Home right before the movie came out. So clearly John has connections and he knows things and yesterday during his show he said that by the end of next week we will have the Fantastic Forecast. Now two things worth noting here. One is that before he said that he said he is not going to say why he is saying that which most people have interpreted as I cannot reveal my sources or they're going to get in trouble. I can't say how I know because if I do, then Marvel's going to find out and perhaps the person who told me could get in trouble and he obviously doesn't want that. Then he kind of ended the conversation by saying, that's what I'm calling by the end of next week. Almost seeming like he is trying to cover it up a little bit. That way, when slash if the cast does get announced by the end of next week, he doesn't get anybody in trouble. Now here's the thing. John Campia and what he says on a show gets posted on Twitter a lot, Instagram, Reddit, wherever. He's very aware that people watch his show and take what he says seriously, so he really shouldn't have any reason to say this unless he truly, one, believes it, and two, knows it. It seems like he has clearly heard something that makes him confident enough to say this on his show in front of everybody where he knows it's going to be reported, so he's confident enough with what he heard to state that by the end of next week, we'll have the official Fantastic Four cast. And this really does line up with basically what we've been hearing recently. Matt Shackman, who is the director of the new Fantastic Four movie, has spoken up about this in the past couple of months. He's been stating that he can't wait to tell everybody who the official Fantastic Four cast is. He simply couldn't yet, and this was due to several reasons. One was the strikes. They couldn't do anything official during the strikes, and that included actually locking down the cast, getting official contracts out there, and signing those contracts to make it official. That could not happen during the strikes, but as soon as the strikes were over, it seems like Marvel and Matt Shackman contacted the actors that they wanted for the roles, and it seems like everything went relatively smoothly. Pedro Pascal was signed on to play Mr. Fantastic really not too long after the strikes ended, and it sounds like, based off of everything that we've heard so far about the Fantastic Four, there has been one decent consistency throughout this whole entire thing, and that is the casting of Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm, aka the Invisible Woman. I'm sure everybody remembers what it was like for Mr. Fantastic. There were a ton of names being thrown out there it seems like every other week for an actor who was supposedly going to play Mr. Fantastic. It was Adam Driver for the longest time, then it was Ryan Gosling, then it was Jake Gyllenhaal, which would have been weird, but again, if the Fantastic Four film does take place in another universe, that might have worked, maybe. Then we got reports from the major outlets and the insiders in our community, all confirming the same thing. Pedro Pascal has been offered the role and has accepted the role of Mr. Fantastic in the Fantastic Four. That was a roller coaster, but what hasn't been a roller coaster is Vanessa Kirby. And yes, there were a lot of names thrown out in the beginning, but since they started announcing that Vanessa Kirby 
is our Sue Storm, there hasn't been any contradicting reports. No other names for Sue Storm have been thrown out there since we've heard the reports that Vanessa Kirby is Sue Storm. Now, not too long ago, we heard that she hadn't exactly officially locked in yet, but she had the offer from Marvel. Everything was just waiting to be finalized. And now apparently it seems like it has been finalized. So as far as we're concerned right now, it's Pedro Pascal and Vanessa Kirby as Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman. And earlier reports stated that in this film, they were already going to be married. And Kevin Feige does this. Sometimes he just jumps into a project stating, well, we know the origin story already. And in fact, he's already mentioned about the Fantastic Four that it's not going to be the stereotypical origin story that we're used to with the Fantastic Four. And I gotta say, having them come from a different universe to our universe, that would be pretty original if executed properly. Now, as far as the thing is concerned, it's kind of just rumors and speculation at this point. But the last name that was thrown out was Ebon Moss Bakrach, who has worked with Marvel before in the Punisher series. So that would make sense. Also, keep in mind the thing is probably going to be mostly CGI if not a bodysuit but I'm guessing the same CGI techniques that they've used for the Hulk and as far as the human torch is concerned the last we've heard is Stranger Things actor Joseph Quinn which a lot of people seem to be really for but the Thing and the Human Torch, the actors for those roles, are kind of uncertain right now. It could be these two. It might be two completely different actors, but we'll have to wait, hopefully, not longer than the end of next week, according to John Campia, to find out the official cast. Now, about the Deadpool 3 trailer, I've gotten a lot of questions about it possibly being delayed. I guess that is a rumor going around online. I hadn't heard that rumor, but I did see that the Insider Cryptic HD Quality posted this on Twitter. I don't know what this talk about Deadpool Deadpool trailer being delayed is, but I don't think it's true. I can confirm a trailer is currently being prepared. And yes, I still call it Twitter. I'm aware that it's X, but it's probably always going to be Twitter for me. But Cryptic HD Quality has an impeccable track record when it comes to scoops. That account is very accurate. So I believe what they say, a trailer is being prepared. Now, what we've heard is that it's probably going to premiere during the Super Bowl, which makes a lot of sense. It is the perfect opportunity for Marvel. And from what we've heard recently, Marvel has put so much faith in Deadpool 3. So much faith that people in the industry are now saying that it's going to completely revive Marvel and save Marvel, save their brand. And the fans, they believe it. Or we want to at least. But it's really hard to think that Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, Sean Levy, and Kevin Feige would make a bad Deadpool movie, especially if you consider everything we've heard about it. With the X-Men and the other cameos appearing in the film and the multiverse traveling and the Wolverine variants and the Deadpool variants, and I've been saying this from the beginning, even just a movie with Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine would absolutely be enough for us to lose our minds. Now, luckily, the film is really going to focus on the two of them, but we're going to get a lot of other awesome stuff put in there as well. Plus, not to mention, this film is going to directly set up Avengers Secret Wars. So, a lot of hope for Deadpool 3. A lot of hope that the trailer is indeed going to come on the Super Bowl. Now, Marvel Studios does have a track record of airing trailers during the Super Bowl. It is very Marvel fashion of them. So, right now, I'm expecting it to happen during the Super Bowl. But if we hear anything else, we'll let you know. So, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. Let us know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below. Do you like Pedro Pascal and Vanessa Kirby as Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman, and who would you like to see play The Thing and The Human Torch? Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and if you subscribe and leave a comment, you are automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. The winner gets to pick one item, and we pick one winner at the end of each month. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.